Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Many of you have asked me which part of an organ pipe affect the sound. Well, I decided to make a dedicated video. But before, remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Thanks! There are many aspects that influence the sound of an organ pipe. Be careful, I'm not talking about the tone, or rather the note it produces, which is closely linked to the length of the pipe. I'm referring to the timbre characteristics. Let's start! First of all, we have the shape. The shape is important because the internal angles modify the emission of the harmonics. The diameter also affects the harmonics a lot, giving a sound more similar to a flute if it is large and more similar to a string if it is small. Then there is the construction material. The spotted metal is a chemical mixture of lead and tin. The common metal pipes the tin pipes, the zinc pipes, and the lead pipes, and then, obviously, the wooden pipes. Ok, here we need to make a small speech. In fact, many argue that theoretically the material does not count. I can agree in a theoretical level, but in reality the pipe is not completely inert when it's sound. In fact, it vibrates unless you make the walls 10 cm thick, but this is not practical in concrete. So, each material has different characteristics, which, by vibrating, introduce a timbral element to the sound. So, in my opinion, the material slightly affects the sound. Then we have the typology. Here you can see different types from open pipes to chimney, closed or red pipes. And finally, those parts in the mouth area, very important for timbral and sound quality. Hole in the foot, the throat, height of the language or position of the cap, height of the mouth, upper lip profile, birded or not, are very important parameters that have a profound impact on the sound of the pipe. Today we will see a practical demonstration of the airflow of an open pipe with bird and without, and with two different types of internal block. As you can see, in the pipe with bird, the flow is more concentrated and parallel to the length of the pipe, while in the pipe without bird, the greatest dispersion of the air flow is clearly seen, giving different sound characteristics. The former has a more flute sound, and the latter more like a metal principle. The inclination or conformation of the throw contributes to direct the air flow. Ok, let me know in the comment if you liked the video and if you are interested in more contents like this. See you next time! Bye!